All right, activity 5.2 is geometric constraints. Um, there's two files you're going to need. First, you're going to need the directions, which is this PDF. Okay, and then the second file, there is a starter file for you. That is this geometric constraints IDW. Okay. So you're going to want to download that and save that with your initials on it and open that up in Inventor. Okay, um, so this activity is kind of weird. Um, it's wanting us to use geometric constraint tools on a drawing file. Usually these are going to be used on a part file. Um, if you go back and look, you know, usually these um, geometric constraints um, allow us to use fewer numerical constraints. You know, in the past we used numbers to dimension the lengths of a line, make sure things were perpendicular or whatever. But we also have all these different geometric constraints and they make your life easier. Um, the thing that's weird about this is this is going to be happening in a drawing file and we can do sketches in drawing files, but typically we do our sketching in a part file. So this is a simple tool just developed for us to learn how to use these different tools and then we'll apply these in our part files later. Okay, so it gives you, the directions do give you a before and after. And what you might want to do is click directions to one side and um, directions to one side and Autodesk Inventor to the other. And then what we need to do in order to make these changes is go in and edit the sketch. Okay, so in the browser I right clicked, went to edit the sketch. Now all the constraints that we have all these special constraints for geometric constraints are all up here. Coincident, collinear, concentric, which aligns circles, fixing something, which locks it in place, parallel, perpendicular, horizontal, vertical, tangent, smoothing, um, symmetrical constraint, and making them equal. So all we got to do is just basically do what it tells us to do. This is uh, making these two lines perpendicular. So we'll go ahead and click on those. Um, make all three lines parallel to each other. Um, let's see, what does this one say? It says dimension circle number three to two inch diameter. So of course that does say we want to make circle number three have a diameter of two inches. And then it says fix circles one and two. So let's lock one and two in place. And then make those circles tangent to one and to uh, the other big circle. So we make that tangent. Of course, and that just realigns everything so it's tangent. Um, make the circle tangent to both lines. So we just click the circle in the lines and that makes it tangent. It says here fix point B. So we'll lock, or it says point C actually, fix point C. Now they're, they used an extra point there to make the label, but what they really mean is the center of the circle. And then make the endpoints of those lines coincident with point C. So here's the coincident constraint. So if I fix that and just click the endpoint of the lines, that moves the lines over. Um, make the circles concentric. So I'll just click all three circles and you'll notice it's going to line up all the circles inside of each other. Making two lines collinear, we click the two lines and it puts them together. Make the lines horizontal. So we just click those two lines. 
uh, make the lines vertical. So we'll pick the vertical constraint. And if you don't like what it did, you can always undo. Let's see, let's try that one again. There we go. Make that an equilateral triangle. Well, that be, would use the equals constraint. So there we have an equilateral triangle. Make the circles the same size. We already did that with another one. Um, line up the centers of the circles on the same horizontal plane. So now all we have to do is click the centers of the circles. Now as you're doing these, order matters with all of these constraints. Okay, so for example, the last time when I clicked this center, it went up here. If I would click horizontal and click this point and then this point, look how they move, look how that changes. The one you click first gets aligned to the second selection. And then they want you to put your name on there with some text, so go ahead and put your name on there. Okay, so that's, um, well, I guess if we want to change our, our text size, now we've already done text before, with other assignments, but if you want to change your text size, you have to highlight the text, and that gives us a little bit bigger text. Okay, um, so that finishes up this entire activity, um, other than submitting it and answering conclusion questions. In order to submit this activity, of course, make sure that you save this, and then we're going to export this to a PDF. Of course, make sure that you've renamed this as uh, Geometric Constraints with your initials. Save it as a PDF. And now we have a completed PDF that you can upload to the LMS. On the LMS, you'll notice that it's asking for a PDF file to upload. So to get credit for this assignment, you will need to click on the top right and submit the assignment. Um, the rest of the assignment is a notebook grade. Um, just four questions to be answered in your notebook. What is a geometric constraint? What are the different geometric constraints? Define a tangent, sketch a line tangent to two circles, sketch three circles such that all circles are tangent to the other two. And how is a geometric constraint different from a numeric constraint? Okay, and that's to be answered in your engineer's notebook.